The idea that ended the world began life as all ideas do. A small thought in one person's mind. No one notices the dangerous things when they're small. By the time they grow, it's too late. The best day of my life was last summer, playing in the backyard with our daughter. We bought her this old kite from a garage sale. She flew it for hours. Children are funny that way. How do they find so much joy in ordinary things? That day was perfect. You could feel the sun on your skin and hear the sound of her laughing. You close your eyes for just a split second, but that's when it happened. That's when everything stopped. Just stopped. The laughing stopped. You couldn't hear the birds. No sounds of cars in the background. You couldn't even hear the wind. Nothing. A deafening silence. On July 2nd, 2009, every living thing vanished. Gone. Without a trace. The people, the animals, everything. Just gone. Forever. Pain. I'm not talking about walking through this sewer. That's disgusting, but it's temporary. No, it's the loneliness. It's the pain of knowing that you are the last living thing on Earth. That never goes away. <laughs> My grandmother told us a story about this old castle. She said there's a secret door that leads to Mount Miracle. Legend says, if you can make it to the top, the mountain will take your pain away. What? You think a magic mountain isn't real? Well, on July 2nd, every living thing in the world disappeared. That was real. Who am I, anyway? Am I just a random voice in your head? No. More specific than that. I'm... someone you know? No. No, I'm someone you love. Or... loved? It's funny to think in a world with 8 billion people, you didn't have time for anything. Now, you've got nothing but time. There's a woman named Miriam. She married the first boy she ever dated from high school. She got pregnant in college. She had to drop out. She had more kids. Her husband left. Now she doesn't have a degree. She's got seven children and no job, no education. But she's the happiest woman you will ever meet. Why? Because she believes in the afterlife. She knows that if she follows the rules and prays three times a day, she will be rewarded. Now imagine what happens when she finds out there is no higher power. There is no afterlife. Can you imagine what that does to a person? Now Miriam doesn't pray anymore. She doesn't... Are you going... Are you going to kill it? You just found the only other living creature on Earth and you're going to kill it? 
You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. Yes, that end of the world thing. It started as a simple idea, but an idea is like a seed. You plant it in someone's head and it grows. It grows until it consumes them. Imagine if you grew up thinking red was good and green was bad. You hated being alone. You hated it so much you married the first girl you dated. I've heard you tell people how lucky you are to be the plumber who married a princess. But deep down, you know you were just afraid to be alone. Now you truly are alone. But everyone at some point in their lives will be alone. The problem is you never prepared for it. Don't lie to me. I know you. The best day of your life wasn't that summer day with the kids. That was my best day. Your best day was when you decided to run away to climb a mountain. Maybe there's another version of this world where on July 2nd, 2009, only one person mysteriously vanished. Maybe you left us. Not the other way around. You should turn back. What makes more sense? That climbing to the top of a mountain will bring us all back? Will it bring me back? Will it bring your daughter back? Or is the top of the mountain just that? The top of some shitty mountain? Everyone is scared to death of the idea. This is fucking it. You have a family, you get a job, but it's never enough. Then one day you feel trapped and you throw it all away. You wanted me to find out about her. For what? For some fucking purpose? Well, guess what? There is no purpose. This... This... This is fucking it. This is all there is.
You had a family. You had the perfect life. Why... Why did you leave it all to hike up a mountain? Please, come back home. Your daughter and I are waiting. For you.